Hey folks, this is Dr. Jeff Williams with Creekstone Integrated Care right here in Amarillo, Texas, coming to you with another blog this week. Uh, this time we're going to talk about a paper that um, explored the cost effectiveness of chiropractic. There's this misperception out there that chiropractic is very, very expensive. So here's why they did it. The authors of this paper wish to perform a review of trial-based economic evaluations that have been performed for manual therapy in comparison to other treatment protocols used uh, for treatment of musculoskeletal complaints. Now here's how they did it. The authors performed a comprehensive literature search of commonly, uh, commonly used research databases for all subjects relative to this uh, particular topic. 25 publications were included. The studies included cost effectiveness for manual therapies compared to other forms of treatment for pain. And here's what they found. Manual therapy techniques such as chiropractic mobilization were more cost effective than visiting a general practitioner. Specifically, chiropractic treatment was less costly and was found to be more effective than physiotherapy or physical therapy and uh, visiting a general and cheaper than visiting a general practitioner's medical office uh, when treating neck pain. So to ramp it up, although improvement in our knowledge of manual therapies is warranted, this paper demonstrates that chiropractic is more cost effective and more effective in general for low back pain and shoulder disability than is usual medical practitioner care and physical therapy physiotherapy. So just another reason to call a chiropractor today. Research and clinical experience shows that in about 80 to 90% of headaches, neck pain, and back pain, in comparison to the traditional medical model, patients get good or excellent results with chiropractic. Chiropractic care is safe, it's more cost effective, and it decreases your chances of having surgery as well as reducing your chances of becoming disabled. We do this conservatively and non-surgically. In addition, we can do it with minimal time requirements and minimal hassle on the part of you, the patient. And if the patient develops a preventative mindset going forward from initial recovery, we can likely keep it that way while raising the general overall level of health. Please feel free to leave a comment. Tell me your thoughts. I'd love to hear what you think. And share, share, share. We can't make a difference without your help. Be sure to find us on social media sites like Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Pinterest, and Instagram. Also, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at the link in the description. At the very least, just take the time to give us a thumbs up right below this video. A gesture that simple really does allow us to get in front of more and more folks with some information we feel can help this profession and help patients over time. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you for your help. Until next time, God bless.